Hello and welcome to this video. Today, what we're going to be discussing is symmetry, or the body plans of different organisms. So as we progress, you'll see the different major types of symmetry that an organism can have. Let's get started. The first type of symmetry is known as bilateral. So bilateral meaning can be cut into two equal halves or segments. So bilateral organisms can be divided into two halves when cut longitudinally. So we're talking left and right. So cut into a left and right half. Examples of this include chordata, so any organism that has a backbone, mollusks, nematodes, and arthropods like insects, crustaceans, and spiders to jam a few. So as you can see, any time you can have an organism that can be split directly down the center into two equal halves, that is what we consider bilateral. The second type is radial. So no matter which way it's cut through, it will, it will result in a roughly identical piece. Think like a pizza or maybe even a pie. So you go ahead and you cut from the center and work your way out. And this will almost always give you a somewhat roughly identical piece. Examples of this include flowers, jellyfish, sea anemones, and starfish, just to name a few. So remember, radial, think out from the center. Like a radian. Yeah, we just talked about math. That happened. I was there. Let's keep going. Spherical. Spherical organisms can be cut through with no discernible differences, so think like a sphere. Now, there are very few organisms in nature that occur like this, so think about like diatoms, which are very small uh, protista, like uh, diatoms are very small phytoplankton, and other protista such as some types of algae and other very small microscopic organisms. So remember, spherical, it's a sphere. Think like a ball. The final type is asymmetry. So with asymmetry, the organism has no symmetry at all when cut through. So there's no matching section no matter how you go ahead and cut it. A great example of this in nature are sponges. And no, I'm not talking about your typical kitchen sponge. These are the actual sponges you can go ahead and find in nature. Under the sea. As you can see, if you went ahead and tried to cut this, there's almost no equal part or matching section you could get. So asymmetry simply means no symmetry at all. So this right here goes ahead and covers the four major types of symmetry found in organisms. If you have any questions, please go ahead and make sure you see your, your uh, instructor. And if not, now you know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Take care of yourself.